This is Quentin from Zappling Studios, I'm co-founder and lead programmer. Over here showing you our survival mode being played by Brandon Perry, who's our QA lead. This is over here displaying our controls, where we set this up. At the left side of the screen is reserved for your input. So when you click on the left side and you hold your finger down, you'll bring up a joystick that'll stay sync with you. On the right side is for gestures that basically help you to do attacks. So if you swipe left and right, you'll dash. If you flick your finger up, you'll launch someone into air to do an air combo. If you do a long swipe upward, you'll do an uppercut. And uh, if you tap and hold, when the bar at the bottom is fully charged, you'll be able to do a charge attack. Basic, basic crowd, crowd control. Knock people backwards, you just saw, and just make space for yourself. Uh, that action bar also lets you do additional hits in your combo. So anytime your hero has a blue bar behind him, he uses one of those additional hits, and it drains some of your bar that always replenishes itself. Uh, in addition to that, there's a bunch of skills equipped at the top left. There's gems that make up your character. So you have an action slot, a defensive slot, a skill slot, and then an open slot that can take any type of gem. And right now we have an attack power, defensive power, blocking, and meteor cut abilities equipped. So if he swipes down now, he'll have the ability to block. And the higher level the block gets, the lower and longer you can block, the more chance you have to do it. Uh, the meteor cut is triggered by your uppercut. When an enemy has a uh, half-life or less, as you just saw, they get shot in the air like a meteor, they come crashing down, do damage to everyone else in range. And that's it for right now.